Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diddy. At the 12 o'clock location, we have Launch starting as the pink Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we got Zesky starting as the purple Terran. I think I'm going to leave it, even though those colors are somewhat close, just because it's kind of fun and like, I don't know, pastel and festive. This is going to be an apocalypse. It is the loser's bracket round one from StarCon 2024. And it is a best of one at this stage. If you win, you advance. If you lose, you're out. And I do want to give a huge shout out to Zesky who traveled all the way from Australia. He was certainly the guy who went the furthest distance, hopped an ocean to be here. And it'll be a TVT starter between these two guys. Um, we saw Launch, who actually, I'm gonna favor Launch here, having looked at the initial games. I feel like if Launch went up against a different opponent, rather than, in fact, I'm looking for him to, uh, we'll see how deep he gets in the loser's bracket as he proceeds and uh, the quality of games from there. Um, but I feel like if he ended up against a different opponent other than Gypsy, uh, that he would have advanced. And actually, I feel like in against maybe even against Artosis, uh, he might have taken a game with the build orders he had. Unfortunately, Gypsy uh, just have, and I'm not sure if I want to remember. Part of what's going back in my brain is is Gypsy talking about uh, how he felt like a lot of the games were a fight all the way through. And I, I'm almost wondering if it was instinct to go for the counter in the previous match or if it was luck, honestly, between the two with that in mind. In the meantime, we're seeing a little bit of a supply. Uh, I think it was a little bit of an earlier supply depot here from Zusky. We are seeing a gas tacked on. No gas as of yet from launch. I'm curious if launch is going to opt to try to go for a barracks into command center build. Uh, to get a little bit of an economic lead. We'll have to see overall. He is stacking the resources to try to execute just that. So he's not going to a 14 command center, which is the craziest, most economically greedy thing you can do. Instead, it looks like he's opting to try to go for a, yeah, I think he's gonna go barracks into expansion style build. In the meantime, gas is down for Zesky. Zesky's got that barracks. I think that's actually potentially blockading his natural expansion a little bit. Um, but what this does do is this allows him to have Marines that potentially could be a little bit more aggressive. And so launch entering in was is confirmed, okay, no natural expansion, um, but hasn't, he, he's also confirming no built Marines at this stage, but hasn't sunk down to discover, hey, that refinery is fully active. We got three SEV, which suggests we are gonna see a factory first build. So supply depot halfway, and I assume this SEV is scooting a little bit out to go ahead and drop that initial factory. We'll see if there's continuation factories from here. And now the very important piece here for Zesky is he's already, he's walked up, he's seen the front door with that SCV, he took a little bit of damage from that Marine. He's seen this front door, does he, he, it, I think it would behoove him to not go for a more aggressive Vulture opener here. He, launch in the meantime, discovering the factory, sees the factory timing, and just needs to make sure he gets a siege tank out in a, a decent click of time. Zesky in the meantime, actually opting is he skipping? So faking, so he left the Marine, the, sorry, the SCV there as though he's going for a command center to try to throw launch off. But I don't think launch was going to get tricked by that. He came down, he saw the SCV still very active on gas and a second factory drop. Now the, the question here though, is do we see the machine shop and some siege tanks produced? There's the machine shop because this is a very easy front door seal for launch. And even with a considerable amount of vultures, it would not take much to seal this off for launch, at which point if it is a heavy vulture dedication, which is more meta for Terran to do, it could be disaster is what I'm saying. So hopefully Zesky goes a little bit more siege tank heavy, like early siege tank vulture uh, front door positional push could work out very, very well. In the meantime though, launch with the economic lead, he's got more saturation across two bases. He's tacking on his first factory, has an SCV uh, idling out towards the third and we have an SCV sitting nearby for Zesky as well. We got three Marines in that bunker. The, the barracks actually lifted off. So two Marines constructed there towards the front. They might, let's see if they challenge the front. We're seeing a bunker. Built. This is cute from Zesky. So he's saying, okay, you're not gonna scout this. Never mind, it's it's got scouted. Great scouting for launch. He That was actually key. He wanted to build the on-site bunker <coughs> so that he potentially could protect the forward siege tank. And it looks like Zesky is on top of this. He's got the double machine shops going researching siege tech and wants to have a siege and so he's going for that bunker again at the forward position this is a little bit more of a threatening 
location, and we have an initial vulture to deal with marines should they try to exit at this stage. So now the question is, for Launch, is Launch going to be able to get the counter siege tech, siege tech attack force? And it looks like his response to this might... Oh, it's double starport once again. And I'm wondering if this was just the blind counter build, because this is the similar build that we saw Game 2 versus Gypsy. But this is basically... This is going to be a beautiful counter, potentially, because you're only going to have two Marines to try to defend a lot of this. And we got an SCV just hanging out at that natural expansion is going to see the siege tank making its way across will be the forward warning now the secondary question is, is is this going to be enough wraith to deal with that siege tank threat and to provide enough support so siege tech about halfway finished we got the bunker and a turret being built at on the low ground here from zesky so zesky even though he's at an economic dif uh, disadvantage he's going to have a potential positional advantage and it's going to be these wraith potentially going to be nullified by this missile turret so the the problem though and we do have a siege tank smacking towards that front but now we have siege tech able to assault that bunker and this could be a slow walk to victory from zesky the one problem though is that this closer position he's not going to be able to turret hop forever so and takes an initial hit on these this siege tank needs to keep it alive the vulture oh wow Beautiful positioning. The Wraith able to sneak in. And this is where I was saying Launch just showing some great play. The perfectly positioned Siege Tank to hit this bunker from a distance. And the Wraith peppering the reinforcements as they're entering, keeping these Siege Tanks weak. Because Zesky now has the problem. Looks like Launch lost control of the Siege Tank. Because Zesky has the problem. We still need to be able to reinforce and have a superior amount of Siege Tanks at a distance reinforcement point. And right now, Launch going to have a second Siege Tank up. To provide some support to the front. And Zesky's going to have to pu push into it. And there's Wraith. And no no protection anti-air. Three Wraith and some SCV off the line. And this is going to get cleaned up. So no Siege Tank left. But the following Siege Tank going to equalize things. And now it's three Wraith and a Siege Tank. One of them heavily damaged. And they're having to sit back. Oh, careful Launch. Got to bring those back. But Launch able to defend it looks like. Initially here. I'll... I'm not sure he needed to pull the... Well, he's still going to pull the SCV. That's actually going to be the end of this additional siege tank. The Wraith actually going to keep their lives. And that was a beautiful defense here from launch. He's going to be able to clean up everything left. And now Zesky, not 100% all in, but basically all in, is now getting his natural expansion up very, very late. He doesn't have any form of anti-air. He's running into... Ooh, well, might be able to get this siege tank out on the front. Maybe a little bit too early there from launch. Launch might have to draw those uh, Wraith back. Several SCVs pulling off the line to try to provide some support. Two siege tanks versus one. So the siege tank might be able to clean up some SCVs here at the front, but the Wraith have managed to get some additional kills. Should be able to sneak up the, the, the siege tank being forced back by those SCVs. So nice defense, a little bit chaotic here. The one advantage here for Zesky at the very least is yeah, he's bleeding siege tanks here, but at least this isn't this is giving him time to get some Goliaths up at the very, very least. But in the meantime, launch with a strong economy. He's been able to get three factories down, which is going to put him with three factories and double starport. He's going to be at a production advantage versus uh, his opponent. He might be able to go for a counter seal if he always oh, going for a drop ship on top of this. Is able to continually slow down the command center because the, Goli the Goliath is still not in position. Finally, the Goliath's there. But Cloak is finished, and now Zesky in a lot of trouble. As he doesn't have any latent detection. He didn't get he skipped the academy, just presuming he's gonna be able to get the uh, missile turrets up, and as a result, losing the further damages. On top of that, he doesn't know about this dropship that's gonna follow up here. And he's got he has no way to detect it. Massive supply lead for launch as well, doing a good job of macroing the engineering bay might be able to float forward and spot this but it's going to be bad news all the way around we got four factories in the space of this more wraith going to provide and actually forcing cancellation i think that was a cancel of the command center from zesky and zesky's best shot now is to just drop a slew of factories he's got actually the right amount of it looks like he's dropping a second command center i don't think that's the play here uh, especially at, at this late of a notice i think the play is to just drop a lot of factories and then hope and go from here, although it might already be out of reach, to be honest. Launch in the meantime easily with the map control he has can go ahead and grab additional base. That barracks going to drop, which is going to cancel that opportunity. So it's two factories for the long haul. This is a handful of Goliaths, which is not much. 
tanks already sieged outside the natural expansion and with some beautiful positioning as well. Launch with some nice positional control, by the way. This is really nice range, just right on the edge of where he'd be able to drop that command center. Just showing launch, uh, I gotta say, yeah, showing some good skill here. The Goliaths able to wipe out a Wraith right there, but Zesky more or less enclosed. I'm not sure if I like the dropship at this stage because it doesn't really serve a purpose aside from spotting. And, but Zesky recognizing the desperation of the situation, pulling some SCVs and everything to clear that front and catching launch off guard, be off guard as well. But that does give him a little bit of breathing room. Two additional siege tanks now on the high ground, however. Turrets getting dropped to try to help deal, but those siege tanks getting bled off in the space of it. And those turrets, once again, not going to finish. And I think that is going to be it. Yeah, Zesky calling GG. Well played from launch. Top to bottom. Spicy. Uh, and launch going to advance Zesky unfortunately and I feel bad for Zesky uh, good dude traveled a great distance and just enthusiastic young guy watch it in like two or three years he's going to be like the best Terran in the world like take down flash and things like that and launch be able to then say like I took down I took down Zesky once that'll that's uh, what'll happen <laughs> in, in, in the situation anyway hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening